Hi guys, this is Miss Carla and today we are on page 21 because we're going to study half two. That in Spanish means tener que. Okay? So guys, do you remember last class we studied some collocations, as you can see here, related to housework, right? So, if we put have to, this have to, in a collocation, together, we're going to create a sentence, okay? Si ponemos have to y una collocation, juntos vamos a crear una oración. But, we're going to use this sentence to express a necessity or an obligation, okay? We're going to use have to, guys. Vamos a usar have to para expresar necesidades u obligaciones. ¿Ok? For example, if I say, I have to feed my dog. I'm talking about an obligation, right? So, please, look at this chart. This is super simple, and today we're going to learn how to create affirmative and negative sentences. ¿Ok? Look at here. First of all, we need a subject. Necesitamos un sujeto. Nuestro sujeto, para usar have to, va a ser I, you, we, you, and they. This you means to, and this you means ustedes. Right? For that reason, we have to you. Okay? So, I, you, we, you, and they. Go with have to. Con estos voy a usar have to. Right? Have to. But, if I want to do a negative sentence, si yo quiero hacer una oración negativa, voy a agregar esto. Esta palabrita, don't, que significa no. Esa es la negación. ¿Ok? So, For example, you have to work. Affirmative sentence. You don't have to work. Negative sentence. Okay? So, now we have he, she, and it. Y acá hay una diferencia. Because with them, we're going to use has to. Okay? Always. Siempre vamos a usar has to. With he, she, and it. And in the negative sentence, we're going to use doesn't have to. Acá ven, have to and have to. Pero son diferentes porque para estos, I, you, we, you, and they, we're going to use don't. Y para he, she, and it, we're going to use doesn't. Doesn't have to. ¿Ok? So... Keep that information in mind, because now... Ah, we're going to complete this. Look at here. Think. Read the rules and choose the correct alternative. We use have to to talk about obligations. I said that. You dije eso, right? We use don't have to to say that it is necessary to do something. Es para... Si yo voy a usar have to para hablar de obligaciones... Y voy a usar don't have to para decir que algo no es necesario. Right? So, have to and don't have to are followed by the ing form or the base form of the main verb. ¿Cómo tenemos el verbo acá, chicos? ¿Está con ing? ¿O con la forma base? Ah, forma base. That's right. So, we're going to underline this. Base form. ¿Ok? So. Now look at here. We have our PPT. Everyone has to clean the house. Have to. Affirmative and negative. We're gonna start with this presentation. With the same information that I gave you before, right? Look at here, but we're gonna do together. Example, I have to do the laundry. Tengo que lavar. I don't have to wash the dishes. No tengo que lavar los platos. We're going to complete this 
chart together, right? So we're going to start with this. I, you, we, you, and they, in affirmative sentence, go with what? With have to or has to? Have to, very good. Have to and a verb. Puede ser cualquier verbo, sí, no solamente work, cualquiera. So, I, you, we, you, and they have to work. In the negative form, we're going to use don't have to. Right? Perfect. So, I, you, we, you, and they don't have to. Y un verbo cualquiera. For example, they have to feed the dog. They don't have to um, clean the bathroom. Okay? Now, with he, she, and it, we have to use have to or has to. Do you remember that? Has to. Has to work. And in the negative form, we're going to use he, she, or it doesn't have to. Okay? Super, very good. So now we're gonna complete this rule. Have to and don't have to are followed by what? By the base form, the ing form of the main verb. We said it before. The base form. Right? Watch out. We use have to and has to talk, to talk about obligation or necessity. Okay? And now, listen to the grammar examples and repeat. I have to take out the trash. You don't have to wear a school uniform. I have to take out the trash. You don't have to wear a school uniform. Okay? Super. Now, guys, we're going to complete the statements. We're going to do these exercises. Okay? So, as an example, we have, you don't have to take off your shoes inside the house. We have this for affirmative sentences and this for negative sentences. Okay? So, number one. Paul. Affirmative sentence. So, it's going to be, Paul has to. Paul has to. Number two, we, affirmative sentence, have to or has to? We have to. Number three, Kelly, this sentence is a little bit different because we have Kelly and a negative sentence. So it's going to be, Kelly doesn't have to do the ironing. Kelly doesn't have to. Right? Remember that. Number four. They, affirmative sentence, they have to practice. Ellos tienen que practicar las canciones para el musical. Right? Number five. I, negative sentence, I doesn't have to or I don't have to. I, do, I don't have to, so sorry. I don't have to get up early on the weekend. Number six. You, affirmative sentence, have to be at the train. Oh, sorry. Have to be at the train station by 7 p.m. And number seven. Fine. The last one. Peter, go to soccer practice twice a week. Affirmative sentence. So it's going to be. Peter has to. Okay? So, that is not that difficult. So, now we're going to study this again because this is the most important part of the lesson, right? So, please be attentive here. Remember this. For affirmative sentences, we're going to use with I, you, we, you, and they. Have to. In the negative sentence, we're going to use don't have to. He, she, and it go with has to. In the negative sentence, doesn't have to. Ok? Chicos, es muy importante que aprendan eso porque con esta tablita 
van a poder hacer todos los ejer ejercicios que vienen. ¿Ok? So, thanks for watching this video and see you in classes. Bye.